What's up baseball players? I'm coach Dan Blewett. In today's video, we're gonna go over right-handed pitchers pickoffs to first base. So we're gonna go over sort of the, all the footwork of it. We're gonna go over your fastest move, your medium move, your slowest move, some do's, some don'ts, and be sure to check out the timestamps in the description. So if you wanna to jump to one spot or the next, you'll be able to easily do that in the description of the video below. All right, so pickoffs, Let get, let's get down to it. Number one, we're gonna talk about the footwork and how you set up on the mound. So one of the reasons that, you're, that your set position is important is because you wanna have enough weight and enough uh, distance between your feet so that you have room to do footwork. So when I see young pitchers come set with their feet super close together, you can't do a, an effective pickoff move this way because your feet have no room to move and sort of escape each other. So you never see any high level pitcher have their feet really close together. And that's why A, you're just more unstable having your feet sort of like as, as one big post rather than having this good base of support, which is about shoulder width. So I'm gonna have a little more weight in my back leg, a little less weight in my front leg. So now this one can move easily and I can go home anytime I want, or I have still enough weight distributed where I can then move this right foot. So. The right-handed pickoff move, let's start with the basics first, and then again, we'll get to advanced stuff as we go. The right foot, you don't have to do this where you step back off and then throw. You can do that anytime you want, but the right-handed pickoff move that's the fastest that you would do in a game is the right foot's gonna disconnect forward from the rubber at an angle, and then the left foot is gonna step towards first base. So when you do this at full speed, it's gonna look a lot like one fluid motion, at, but in reality, this foot is moving first and then they land together. So again, I'm gonna demonstrate these at full speed and throw it, but that's the footwork. So again, it's once you're here, it's you disconnect forward at an angle and then you're gonna turn and complete it. And again, when you do that at full speed, it looks a lot like it's one motion. Now let's talk about the difference between your best move and your worst move. So what a lot of pitchers do to like not show them their best move is they'll do this. They'll pick the first and they'll lob it. And this has absolutely no effect. It's a waste of everyone's time. It slows the game down and it does nothing to show the runner what you have in regards to making him nervous about staying there or not. So what a real uh, A, B and C move look like are this. There's subtle differences that are gonna allow the runner to get farther off the base because they think they've seen your best move. When you lob a grenade, no one in the ballpark thinks that that was your best move. They just think you're patronizing them or you just don't really understand the game. What the real difference is, is separating essentially your hands from your feet. So you could have fast feet or you could have slow feet. You could have a fast arm or a slow arm. And then when you mix the two together, you get three different combinations. So basically what this looks like is slow feet, slow arm is your worst move. And that means my feet are gonna be a little more one, two, and my arm is gonna be a little bit longer. That's gonna be your worst move. And again, I'll demonstrate this in a second. Then your B move, is gonna be fast feet, slow arm. So my feet are gonna go really quick, but my arm is still gonna be long and kind of slow. That's gonna give him just a little bit more time to get back. And then finally, your best move, the one that you're maybe gonna catch a guy who's just a little bit too far off, is fast feet and a fast arm. And what that looks like is your feet are super fast, so all in one motion, and your arm is gonna be more like a catcher infielder where instead of having this long loop to it, it's gonna be boom, it's already in position all at once, okay? So let's go over a couple of those pickoff moves at full speed so you can see the difference and it's gonna be subtle. But the way this works is you show them your C move, your worst move, which is slow arm, slow feet, and or long arm and slow feet. And that allows them to get one more step because they can make it back, but it still looks pretty convincing. And then your feet quicken up, but your arm stays long, so they get another half step. And then if they're just too far to get back, or they lean, they hesitate, now fast feet, fast arm might catch them if you make a good strong throw. So let's go over some of those pickoff moves in full speed. Okay, so this is gonna be your slowest move. So again, this is slow feet and a, larm, and a large, long arm swing. So what you'll see while I do this is you'll see a definite right and left, and you'll see a lot of length to my arm. Do one more.
Okay, so that's your worst move. It's not a lob, it's not something silly. It looks like a normal move, right? If you didn't know any better, you'd think that was my pickoff move. And that is exactly the point. Okay, so now we're gonna go to your B move. This is fast feet, long, slow arm. So you can see, it looks pretty quick. My feet are moving much more as like one unit. There's very little one, two between my steps. And my arm, however, is still pretty long. Let's do one more of those. Okay, so now we're gonna do your fastest move. This is fast feet and a fast, shorter arm action, a lot like an infielder or a catcher. Everything is compact. As my body starts to move, I'm in the throwing position and the ball's on its way. Basically, as soon as my feet touch down, that's the goal. So hopefully that makes sense. Let's go over a couple. I'll do one of each. I won't tell you which one. And you can guess at home and leave your comments um, which one you think was which. Throw number one, pick off number two, or pick off number three. You can tell me if that was my A move, my B move, or my C move. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful. Pickoff moves to first base for right-handers in baseball, it's something that you really need to master. It's something you should play, work on playing catch out in the outfield. This should be part of your routine somehow, right? So the more you do these, the better you'll get. And you can see, I haven't made a pickoff to the base in quite a long time, but this was muscle memory. And my throws are pretty you know, downhill, pretty accurate. The footwork doesn't go away, but that's because all those years I had great coaches help me and say, hey, this should be part of your routine. We're gonna work on this as a team as well, but this needs to be something that you get better at, that you wanna really be good at holding runners, okay? So thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you want more pitching knowledge, check out the links in the description below. You'll find my books. I'm working on a third as we speak here in late 2021. You'll find my online courses, other videos that are related to this as well. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.